On July 31st, 1987, a powerful tornado ripped through Edmonton, Alberta, killing 27 people amid a trail of destruction. The twister carved a 30 kilometer path that crossed a highway, destroyed 300 homes and threw vehicles into the air. At peak strength, the tornado's winds were between 267 and 322 kilometers per hour. As one of seven other tornadoes in central Alberta the same day, 30 years later, Black Friday, as it's still known, is still the province's most devastating tornado in its history. But 30 years on, we've also made enormous leaps when it comes to predicting and tracking tornadic storms, in part due to the Doppler radar network that was rolled out uh, just a year after Black Friday, but also due to major advancements in our forecast models, our understanding of tornado formation, and our communication with the public. But there is still much to learn about tornadoes, including the impact that climate change has had and will continue to have on tornado activity, because the answer is complicated. On the one hand, with a growing population, better technology makes twisters easier to detect and predict. So even with a growing population, tornado deaths in Canada are going down. But is the season getting worse? Well, as far as sheer numbers go, that's tricky too, thanks to more storm chasers, a more aware public, social media, and Doppler radar, we were able to verify so many more tornadoes now than just a few decades ago. All that being said, it's hard to compare current tornado data to the past to see if it's increasing because our database isn't the same. So what about the actual mechanisms of tornado formation in a warming climate? You might think that hotter air means more fuel for tornadoes, but it's also not that straightforward. In a new study, researchers looked at trends in the severity of tornado outbreaks, and they did find that the number of tornadoes in single outbreaks are increasing but not for the reasons they imagined. Tornadoes are increasing because of holicity. That's the spin in the atmosphere. That's the factor that increased, an unexpected result that has researchers wanting to learn more. One thing's for sure though, climate change means economic and insured losses from thunderstorms in general will continue to go up at increased rates. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.